Hello everyone, my name is Cap and welcome back to Cap Tech. Today I'm some doing something a little bit different for my tech channel and that I'm covering something that's kind of related to gaming, but it kind of overlaps since I have a gaming channel. And today I'm going to show you guys how to access beta or experimental builds for games that you may have installed. So, and I'll explain how to do it and then I'll explain why you might want to do it. It's really simple so this will be a short tutorial. From within Steam just make sure you're at your library and you can sort by installed or you can sort by all the games that you have. Uh, easiest way to do it is to check your installed. Go to whichever game you want to be able to access beta or experimental builds for, say like DayZ. Over here on the left side under your games list, right click it and click on the bottom choice where it says properties. In the window that opens up, look up at the top at the different tabs and you're going to have one that says betas. From in here, you're going to see a drop down list, and depending on which game you're playing, this list may look a little bit differently. You can see none, opt out of all bay programs. This is going to be the default for every game you have installed. And then you may see something that says experimental, or in some games like Seven Days to Die, you can see that they have a ton of different kinds of versions that you can manually choose to download. You can go through and choose the default none, or you can choose the most latest version that they have down here for the experimental. So sometimes you're given options as to which version you want to use. And sometimes you may have a game that has to have a code to be able to access the beta if they're doing like a promotion or something. And this is where you'd enter that code. Now, what exactly is a beta or an experimental build? What these are is anytime you have a game installed, by default, it's going to download the most stable version, meaning they've done all the testing that they can, they've checked for all the bugs that they can find, and everything within the game is to where they want to release it to the public, and your Steam client will download it automatically. Well, you can go in and choose to download experimental builds, which is when they're slowly releasing them out to the public to do some testing on them. Because part of software design, whether it's gaming, applications, office documentation, that any sort of thing like that they have to release versions of it to a testing facility or to the public to see how well it's going to work you can only do so much internal testing and so they have betas and this allows people to download the game to download the software to be able to use it and to report back any bugs they find and then once they've recovered and fixed as many bugs as they possibly can then they'll go ahead and release it as a finalized version and so that's what you get if you leave it on the opt-out version opt out of all bacon programs when it downloads an updated version for the program you're getting that finalized version that's already gone through the beta testing but oftentimes when you go through and the reason why you would want to select it is because you get access to some of the new features they've put in the games and so you have a chance to kind of play with it get to know it a little bit better and oftentimes report back to the developers and say hey by the way i'm playing in the most updated version the experimental build and the game crashes when i do this it helps them fix it for the next version so, keep, do keep that in mind that if you are going to be downloading betas or experimental versions that they are not completed, not quite released to the public yet, so you may end up with some problems. So do keep in mind that this is all something I had highly advised that you take caution with doing this because oftentimes if you download an experimental version or a beta, you could end up losing some game data. You can end up causing some system crashes on your end here because it is an unstable build as it says in the list right there. So anyway, this is something that I thought just might be beneficial. Uh, a lot, I have a lot of people that follow me that are into gaming as well as myself and have asked me how to go through and enable the most experimental version, the most recent experimental version for like DayZ. And so I walk them through how to do that. And I thought I would do just a short tutorial video and kind of explain what a beta is or an experimental build and then how to do it. So hopefully you found this useful and beneficial and it will help you out with future attempts at trying to access betas in Steam. And if you have any questions, do drop it in the comment section below and I'll answer it as quick as I can. If you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up down there because I do truly appreciate that. And uh, don't forget to subscribe for future videos. You guys have a wonderful day and I will talk to you later.